finally today is the last day of <clears throat> a long month a very long month um those who know about you know my recent low point and who felt you know the urge to reach out to me to to give your kind word to offer me just someone to talk to at the time i thank y'all i really do thank y'all i'm very appreciative of the smallest things so just taking that time out to let me know hey you know I, I think you're here for a reason you have these qualities and you know you have a purpose thank you thank all of you um i've been i've, I've been better and i have my baby oh my god mr daryl dante arnold jr i have him to thank because without him i would not want to get up and try to keep moving and try to be better and he's just always a constant reminder to be positive and to keep my eyes focused on you know to keep my energy focused on the things that i want to happen in my future and i guess having that motivation and him and his thoughts and prayers being with me and anyone who reached out to me, yeah, it's obviously working. Um, I'm obviously here for a reason. And the events that transpired immediately after that, I guess, low point, is what lets me know that for some reason, and I don't know what it is yet, I'm still here. My journey here on this plane in this realm is not over. And I say so because you know not long like maybe a few days no a couple days yeah a couple days after you know hitting basically rock bottom something just came to me like I don't even know what prompted me to check one of the apps that I have on my phone and it's been on my phone for you know over a year now and every now and then I'll check it but not for the podcast it's an app that has podcasts it's called um the smart passive income app and anyone who's in the internet market marketing arena or who's interested in like making money online or passive income you know who pat flynn is or maybe you've heard of him he has an app and i usually keep track of his app i usually go to his app to like keep track of his income reports because the guy is freaking brilliant as far as making money online like he's done so much is doing a lot and he's just a good person to look up to so uh i was looking for one of his latest income reports and just decided to go look at some of the we'll go listen to some of the podcasts that he does he had he does a um a podcast on his show and it's basically people who know about making money online or who have created passive income streams and he interviews them and they just share you know their story or whatever well i ran across episode 99 and that's a very popular episode apparently because i googled that episode because i was looking for the link and i typed in s you know smart passive income episode and episode 99 was an automatic suggestion from google so a lot of people have obviously found value in it and in that episode they talked about becoming a seller a professional seller on Amazon now I've sold an ebook on Amazon before and did very well so I was like okay and I'm a Amazon affiliate meaning on the website by high school that I still have this still up and running um, I get affiliate income when people click through certain links on that website to Amazon and make purchases I get a commission off of it so I'm not a stranger to Amazon I just was a stranger to fulfillment by Amazon which is a program where basically you load up on whatever stuff you're gonna sell and there's a there is a process to it there's a method to the madness but you basically load up on your inventory 
you send it to the warehouse that Amazon tells you to send it to and when it sells Amazon takes their cut and basically you profit off of whatever you sold now me being the cheap person that I am and my introductory video for the this Nikki's no Nikki knows best channel I spent like an hour introducing myself and I talk about how cheap I am in that video um, the thrifting world like yard sales garage sales flea markets auctions all stuff like that that's right up my alley that's what I do that's what I like and not to resell anything it's just I like having a nice looking home space and I find amazing stuff at yard sales and you know in thrift stores and you know I can decorate my spot and look all nice and cozy and homey on a very tight budget well, not even necessarily on a tight budget, just not for a lot of money. And I just like saving money. But anyway, back to the Amazon um, fulfillment by Amazon, which is FBA. I'll refer to it as FBA from now on, basically. And I'm really enjoying it. Like, I went from basically hating where I was in my career because I just felt, I feel, I felt stuck. And I'm, I'm still basically doing what I was doing because I'm very new to FBA and you don't just get rich quick overnight it is work but I found something that excites me again like I have I have a passion for it it's something I actually like to do I like to go out to these stores and be with my son and he gets you know little little 99 cent toys from Goodwill and that just makes him happy while I'm in there looking for stuff that I can sell online and I'm going to be doing a lot more video sharing what it is because on the surface, it just sounds, okay, you selling stuff on Amazon. Like, what are you selling? How much are you selling it for? But it's, in a, it's a lot of stuff you can sell on Amazon and it's a lot of money you can sell it for. Let me just say that. And I am currently, like, keeping a diary or a journal or whatever of everything that I do and the steps along the way to let it be pretty much like a case study for anyone else who may be interested because while I was learning how to do this I was very interested in seeing how other people you know got to the point where they're profitable every month selling on Amazon so I'm sharing my process too and I'll blog about it um, that's still in the works so don't wait around on it for now I'm just doing things and taking it easy because you know just coming out of a, a period of depression you know a couple of just a couple of weeks back it's not like boom I'm happy again no I'm it's it's a one day at a time type thing and I found that being open about it is a lot better than holding it in and feeling miserable whenever you're alone uh, the low point that I was at a couple of weeks back is not the first time I've been there I've not had what one would consider an easy life by any means so it's, it's not the first time I've been there. But I always see the rainbow after I get out of that mood. So I'm just waiting on the next high period. For every down, there's an up. You know, for every low, there's a high. So having just reached that low point, I'm looking forward to the beautiful high that I have to be coming into sometime soon. And... I have a little story about that, but I'm going to see how it plays out first and then I'll say it because I don't want anyone jinxing me and my good fortune in this situation that I'm talking about. Uh, I think I happened upon what sellers would call a treasure in, uh, at a thrift store. Two treasures, actually, and that means something that you bought for like maybe less than two dollars that could sell for over a thousand that kind of treasure and I'm just waiting to see how they perform on Amazon I am very confident in what I have listed these products as and um, they are like new still sealed and manufactured packaging um, I'm very confident about the prices I listed them at after I did my research on how much they've sold in the past so once that happens and once I have cash in bank account or cash in hand uh, I'll let y'all know how that goes but until then be on the lookout for my next video I didn't do too well with the vlog every day in August challenge 
obviously I was not vlogging every day in um, August with all of that mess going on in my life because honestly who wants to sit around and see someone crying or see someone you know just being in a really down mood like you can say you're a nice person blase blase but the average stranger does not care when you're you know in that type of mood so I thought it was just best to keep the negative away from the public eye uh, as, as much as I could because it did kind of leak into the public eye this time and the other times my depression never got you know into the public but yeah anyway uh, I'm gonna be wrapping this video up that's about where I am now we're going into the first day of September tomorrow and from there I'll be tracking like my monthly sales with this whole selling on Amazon thing I've registered for my seller's permit so I don't have to pay taxes on the stuff I buy I'm really putting a lot of effort into it it's something that is giving me a sense of hope and happiness it what we would, would be kind of a dark period in my life right now so uh thank y'all for listening thank you everyone who subscribed so far uh anyone who watches and maybe you don't comment or maybe you don't like but you just watch and watch the whole video that means a lot to me too i'm a very appreciative person i'm grateful for any type of you know well reception i get so yeah uh see y'all in the next video Stay tuned for the next installment of Nikki's no Nikki Knows Best and just have a good one. It's the first of the month tomorrow. Have a happy September.